Welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K12. This is my Dallas Mavericks franchise. And now, as you can see, we're still a 9 and 2 team for Dallas Mavericks. And we're going up against the dangerous player of the Houston Rockets, is Kevin Martin of the Houston Rockets. Check out the roster for Houston Rockets. You see that Kevin Martin, Andre Karenko, Louis Cola, and Kyle Lowry is going to be a scary one. Let's check out the point league leaders. What is going on in the league? Let's check out league leaders. As you can see, LeBron James is in the first with 38.4. Kyrie Irving has 34.6. And you see Kevin Martin, third of which they are the top four. In this one, it's just going to be our most watched game. It's going to be 33.6 and 33.4. It's going to be an all out war between the Texas Showdown. It's going to be Kevin Martin and Dirk Nowitzki. The shoot out the league leaders. It's going to be uh, surprisingly. A check out the Houston Rockets are currently the number 6 seed with 5 and 5 in the early season going. Let's check out what happened to Houston Rockets. The team make it to the last season. Check out the Rockets improved was last season. It ended up 34 and 8, 34 and 48. Did not make it to the playoffs. There's a 5 and 5 record right here. You saw the premium record right now in the league. And ABA Bowler ready to go. And now showdown with Kevin Martin of the Houston Rockets. It's gonna be can't wait to see a showdown. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna catch it up. I will see all your later as we're gonna use a navy blue one game again. We're gonna take the navy blue once again. And now here we go. Let's get started. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Glad to have you with us. And a terrific NBA season continues to take shape. It'll be Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks facing off against Luis Scola and the Houston Rockets. I'll be here in the studio for the halftime show. The Mavericks look to tangle with a fellow Western Conference pro coming into town for this game today. Bringing you another exciting NBA broadcast here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. You look at the Rockets. They can really prove their toughness with success during what's going to be a, a good number of road games over the next stretch. Playoff atmosphere in this building here tonight, guys. You can feel it. And there always does seem to be when these two teams square off. It's a great rivalry. Yeah, I agree. And you know what? One hard foul and all the feelings associated with this rivalry are immediately rekindled. And just like that, it's game on. And here are the Mavericks starting five, courtesy of State Farm. Kidd and Terry on there, manning the backcourt. Channing Fry out there with Nowitzki. And it's Carter in at the three. And for the Rockets, Lowry and Martin manning the backcourt. Patrick Patterson is out there with Andre Kirilenko. And it's Skola in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. For the finish, and the champ by Dirk Nowitzki. Now that's how to get your point across. That's making it big. I know you and I can feel that all the way over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if you're a defender, you want to see anybody but him with the ball in his hands in that situation. Finders top of the key. It's tipped. Tries to save it out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here is the oh, That should be illegal, Kevin. Tell you what, they were in full attack mode there on that fast break. I agree with you, Steve. I mean, they got right after it. Now we're going to Doris Burke. We had a chance to talk with head coach Kevin McCain. Kevin, I asked him why, other than the typical offensive and defensive matchups, might make a major difference here today. He said, we need to respect their rebounding talent and always be aware of where their good men are when the shot goes up. We'll see if they respond to that challenge and take it on, Kevin. Great, Doris. Thank you. It's not necessarily an overlooked part of the game, but. Rebound can affect everything else you do.
And here are the Rockets now. Seven point differential. They're moving on after the tough loss. <laughs> Can you believe that dunk? I mean, that was first class right there. I'm not sure I can believe it. I don't know how he was able to execute the reverse in such tight quarters. Incredible. Three throw good girl at that. Here's Terry. He's coming off a 22-point game against New Jersey. Covered by Mark. Nowitzki against Patterson. Taken away by Kirilenko. I really don't like what I'm seeing in their last couple of possessions, Kevin. That's two turnovers in a row. Careless turnovers in that. Now they're getting a little casual with the ball. They've got to hit that the ball right now. Here's Carter, and it's good assisting on the play with Nowitzki. Boy, he just seems to score so easily. The game comes very simply to him. On the arc. That's good. Bill Lincoln's got six. Three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this guy. He's a kid. Fry with the ball. Stoll is there. Nowitzki and Dallas again with the buttons. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Here's Patterson. difficult maneuver but a tremendous this one if you can pull it off here's Lowry outside Kirilenko picked up by Levitsky one shot and here's to make Kirilenko with the ball here's Kirk who picked up 12 points in the last one against New Jersey and Levitsky backs in got a piece of it Stolen by Mark. Well, that's a wonderful read and react. Oh. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you throw it down with four. Well, to the hoop with reckless abandon, Steve. Right. That takes some courage, guys. The defense was right there. The Mavericks trailing. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And the number of times they were able to get to the foul line, I thought it was a big factor. It just seemed like they continued to go to the hole, and it paid off. And their shooting percentage from the strike was just as impressive as how many times they got there. I mean, it was a combination of quantity and quality from the line. You know, this has been his quarter here. Still hasn't missed the mark yet. And stolen by front. The opening was there for a split second, and he could get it there in time. Really look to run immediately after that turnover. Well, that's how you cash in. You don't want to waste any time after the turnover. Go at it right away. There's 117 left in the first. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And this is the first time they've matched up with the Mavericks this year. And I'll tell you what, we've seen some tough divisional battles between these two teams before. And we're going to get to see them four more times this season, uh, starting tonight. Courtney Lee, he's checked in for the Rockets. Flynn comes in for Kyle Lowry. Sean Marion, he's checked in for Dallas. West comes in for Jason Kidd. Here's Carol Lincoln. Six points for him. Marion with the steal. And here they come. Jumps up. Oh, 
That's the effect a dunk like that one has, Kevin. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. This sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture of mine. Stay aggressive. Steve, you like groove, don't you? I do. I love groove, Kevin. And I love the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. You can't just get a hand up. You've got to anticipate what he's doing before he shoots. Outside Flynn. Outside Scola. Shot clock at five. They need this. Gets it to go. Scola's got his first bucket of the night. Just filling it up. Both teams are, guys. I mean, points coming fast and furious. They have just been pouring in threes from the start. And the defense is drowning. I mean, they can't find a way to get out of the hole. I mean, a nice lead to start the game with. Here's Terry. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Mavericks on top. It's up by eight. Boy, the offense has been so smooth. Everybody working together. And you can tell they're getting good shots pretty much every time down. Yeah, they're a well-oiled machine there. I mean, they keep the ball moving, they keep themselves moving, and as a result, they're piling up the points. It's more NBA coming your way. The NBA season picks up steam. The Charlotte Bobcats go up against LeBron James and the Miami Heat next Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. Here's West. Looking for his first bucket of the game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Taking a look at the Rockets. Here is that third, Andre Kirling. Then there's Lowry. Then it's Lee. And it's Hayes in at the center position. Deflected. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been fantastic from three-point land in the last 10. The Mavericks, number one. They've been really pleased, Kevin, with their three-point game. It's working better for them thanks to some adjustments they've made in their transition game. It's going by Hill. Rockets trail by eight. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw a tap over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. Good foul. They can turn the free throws. Don't let this team dunk. I like that. That's a smart foul. I mean, it's a lot easier to dunk it than it is to hit two free throws. Make them earn them at the strike. And Dallas has possession. They've led by as much as 10. Three from Stevenson. Good. Oh, fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep. Of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. Mary gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Kirilenko. He has six. How is tagged with the reach? That's his first foul. First personal foul. Here's Hill. Outside Lowry. Shoots the three. Lee gets the bucket. Lee's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, they're finding the open man. Unselfish play. I like it. Yeah, I love it too. Teamwork and evidence there, right on full display. A big percentage, a high percentage of their basket have come off assist. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Let's take a look at Dallas. Long way to go still in the season, but even so, they've got the top spot. And checking out Houston. Three and a half games back. You know, right now for the Mavericks. 
They've really caught nobody by surprise this year. I mean, they've got a tremendous track record and the talent to stay on top for a while. Yeah, and you know, some people wondered if there'd be a drop-off this season just because of those high expectations, but there really hasn't been a drop-off at all. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Luis Stola, he's checked in for Hayes. Williams comes in for Andre Karolinka. And it's Martin in for Courtney Lee. And Williams spins it in. The poles up there hanging on the rim, just kind of showing off a little bit, but special thanks to the camera crew as well for giving us that last sprite slam kick. Launches it. Shot is good. Hollage got his first three points of the game. Rockets trail by nine. And stolen by Howard. Oh, and a nice defensive play to interrupt the alley -oop. And they're pushing it up. Outside Williams. All alone. Nice jump shot. Williams, Williams has got four this quarter. It really caused a lot of trouble with their defense, and it's paying dividends to them at the other end. Well, it's the old saying, good defense leads to good offense, and there's no question that's the case right now. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Here is Terry. The defense just swung wide open for him there. Easy shot. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they didn't put up any resistance at all. Completes the three-point play. Here's Williams. He's coming off a 10-point game against Denver. Taken away by Kill. It's two on one. Nowitzki deflects the pass and stolen by Williams. Here's Martin. Right up. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Yeah, he's just embarrassing the defense right now because he didn't really need the double clutch there. Nowitzki. Like it's trail by eight. Taken away by Kill. Tipped. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Pushes up. And Kevin Martin the bucket on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Novitsky with it. He's got 12. And Fry backs in. Gets it to go. Fry has got his first basket of the night. That's the way to work the ball in close to the hoop, guy. Timeout call for Rockets. We got to keep everybody on the same page. They need to get their heads together. That's the goal. With a break in the action, let's now bring up the 2K leaderboard and look at the league's top scorers over the past 10 games. Second is Kevin Martin. And of course, Dirk Nowitzki. And here are two guys, Kevin, that have been on fire offensively lately. I mean, the greatest players are always making adjustments to their game. I mean, these two guys are pushing hard to take their games to the next level. And in this stretch, they've done just that. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Chuck Hayes, he's checked in for Stoke. Patterson comes in for Jordan Hill. And Johnny Flynn is subbed in for Kyle Lowry. All business there, not messing around one bit. Busted right with one hand. He never does, Gordon. He never does. Oh, that's kind of his trademark. He slams like that. Williams gets the bucket. And I don't think defensively you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one on one, he's been a handful. And Nowitzki backs in. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. 14 points for Nowitzki. Williams kicks to Harris. Straight up. An easy two points in the hook. A little too easy for the inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they really take the hook back in the paint. That's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance. 
Now that's just rubbing it in, fella. Throwing it down the style. Yeah, these folks are not going to forget that one anytime soon. Carter with the three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Carter's got five points now in the quarter. Here's Williams. And again, it's the Hawks from deep. Looks like a three-point contest out there, guys. Yeah, you would fit right in, partner. I mean, you hit one on us, we'll hit one on you. A terrific battle going on here. Here's Flynn. And Pat Kowalski is going to be walking for one more. Well, that takes a lot of strength to finish a pair like that while you get a foul. Boy, he had it on display right there, partner. I mean, that was muscle. That was strength on display. for the Rockets. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Hayes. Kirilenko comes in for Terrence Williams. And it's Lee in for Kevin Martin. And the basket by Nowitzki. Well, after that strong start to this game, he's really picked it up here in the second. Flynn dishes to Patterson. Picked up by Nowitzki. Scola inside. And Fry. Here's Flynn. And the bucket counts. He's on his way to the free throw Getting out of transition, guys. They're coming fast and furious. They've got some deep grasping for breath here with seven straight fast break points now, Steve. Gets trailed by ten. Well, winding down. They're going to go for the last shot here in the court. Yeah, I like the recognition there. They're going to play for the last shot, just as you said. Lee outside. The shot's good on the assist by Flynn. Lee's got eight here in the quarter. Four, and they have to love the vision to find the open man and get him the ball. And so that's the end of the first half. Nowitzki playing very well. He's got 21 points, and he's hit a trio of three-pointers to give himself nine points from downtown. He's doing his best to stretch this defense out and uh, this long-range outburst, that bodes well for this club. Mavericks lead by 10. Welcome to HP at the Half. I'm Damon Bruce, and we got ourselves a rivalry game. For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against Houston. They made a point of working the ball around. Great offensive teamwork. For Dirk Nowitzki, it's been too easy against the Rockets. At the break, 21 points and has been on the mark from deep so far. A scrappy effort by Houston. With the season just underway, we find them at 500 and focused on improving. Terrence Williams with a big contribution. The bucket looks about five feet wide for him. He hasn't missed one shot. Can you believe it? It hasn't been exactly a back-and-forth battle, but these two are trading their fair share of buckets. And now we'll look at games that won't be tipping off until later. The Los Angeles Clippers up against the Jazz in Utah. Fans are eager for that rivalry game to get going. It's going to be a loud one in there. That one tips off at 6.30 Eastern. And one game also on the docket. It'll be the Heat out at American Airlines Arena against the Grizzlies. Could be an interesting matchup. That one gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. And a look now at the rest of the action from around the NBA. The Charlotte Bobcats will go up against the Hornets out in New Orleans. A 7.30 Eastern tip time. Thanks so much for joining us here in the studio. We hope to see you next time. We'll send you back out to the second half. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. Here's Kidd. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. On the floor right now for the Mavericks. Kidd and Terry on. They're manning the backboard. Nowitzki is out there with Terry Fry. And it's Carter in at the three. The small forward. A load from Martin. He gets it to go off the back of the team. Now he's got the first pass to the second half. That one for the Rockets. Lays it up. And in spite of the excellent defense at that. Look at the combination of size and touch. That's why he's a great finisher down low. 
He's picked up by Kidd. And another three from Houston. Here's Chip. He's got six. And Nowitzki got the stop. You can see that dunk coming a mile away. Anytime he gets in that close to the ball. It's all over. It was a nice replay brought to you by the Sprite Slam Camp. Outside of Mark. The shot's good on the assist by Ryan. Howie's got assist number five here tonight. Top start for this ball coming out of halftime. That's three in a row now. Outside Carter. He's number three for Dallas. You know, when he plays well, generally the team does too. And that's exactly what we're seeing here today now a timeout called by houston and there before you are the teams that have been absolutely red hot for the last 10 games the mavericks number one it's due to better shot selection lately kevin they're taking their time to make sure the shots they take go in really good self-discipline there here's martin eight points for him shoots again the rapid score Four straight from the field, guys. Off to a quick start this third quarter. Carter with the bucket. He's Carter's got 19 points. No prettier shot than the finger roll. Smooth and beautiful. It's a joy to see. Here's Lowry. And Houston again with the ball. They're rolling now. Five straight hoops to start this quarter. Carter outside. Now Kirilink will defend it. Outside Terry. That's good. Terry's got nine points. Hey, he could have read a book cover to cover with all the time he was given on that three. My goodness, come on. Play some team. I could have read a book, could have played a video game, could have mowed the lawn. Went to the windmill dump to turn this place on its ear. I love it. Yeah, this crowd is stunned. Man, they should be, Kevin. That was one elaborate... finish here's Lowry 11 points in the game he dishes it to Martin get against Lowry Martin gets it to go Martin's got six in the quarter boy this is the kind of shooting performance coaches dream of it makes their job so much easier Next one starts in this third quarter. Go Took him no time at all on that one. Go to the block. 27 points for Nowitzki. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. Oh, oh, kicks to Martin. Guarded now by Jason Jerry. Outside, Martin. Stolen by Carter. Great job defensively getting out and forcing that turnover. Nowitzki for three. Another three for Dallas. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Now a timeout called by Houston. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You've got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for the Rockets. Then for the Mavericks. Sean Marion, he's checked in for Frank. Howard comes in for Jason Terry. And Delonte West is subbed in for Jason Kidd. Nowitzki with the steal. He's got to tighten up his game, guys. That's five turnovers for him. Another three for Dallas. Another three, and we've just seen a barrage from long range here in the second. Yeah. Well, they have come out blazing. And defensively, it's hard to deny that shot. I mean, that's a lot of ground to cover when the team spreads you out like they do. He's been hot for most of this game, and if he keeps it up, his team could turn things around. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Rockets trail by 16. Kyle called that time on the way up. They'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. We've seen Kevin Martin getting it done. 12 points, and he has picked a lot of pockets tonight. Causing so much frustration for this offense. 
that's good as he hits both of his shots. 115 left in the third quarter of the game. It's tipped. Stolen by Mark. Nowitzki with the steal. It's two on one. Howard hammers it on, but polish off the break. Off to the race. Is just really getting up and down the floor. Not much the defense could do there, guys, but let them go. Lowry kicks to Hill. Stolen by Carter. You know, guys, it's interesting. Such a good first half for him. Oh, man. Boy, that is an alley-oop of the highest order on the front and back end. A play they've been working on, I'm sure. That's got to be the case because that was impeccable timing. Lowry kicks to Mark. Here's Kurlenko. A three-pointer is right on target. Kurlenko's got nine points. Six points in short order. Two straight from deep. That's what can happen with that three ball. Yep, yep. they got it going. Nice clean looks. Swift, 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 swift. Nowitzki outside. He's guarded by Hill. Six to shoot. Here's Carter. He drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his seventh assist in the game. Stolen by Carter. And here's the fast break. The pass to West. From deep three-point range. Another three for Dallas. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, give him credit. He's been very selective with his shots, and it's paying off for him and his team. You know, through the first three quarters, Steve, he's taken exactly what the defense has given him, and he's not forced anything. I mean, that's poise that is very impressive, and that's exactly how you should play the game, in my opinion. Mavericks ahead, running away with this one. Coming up next Monday night, Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls hit the road for a duel with the Milwaukee Bucks, live from Bradley Center. Hoops action. Now while we've got a moment, we're going to send it over to Doris Burke for our Spark of the Game. Presented by Sprite. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. It's the Mavericks with the Spark of the Game with that big push we saw. With each bucket they get, they keep putting this game a little bit further out of reach. You have to be excited with how they look if you're a fan of this basketball team, guys. Doris, thanks. Uh, that run, Clark, really propelled them. Yeah, it sure did. I mean, it got their confidence up and gave them the kind of swagger you like to see in the team. Yeah, gave them the edge for sure because look at the opponent. I mean, they are kind of down on themselves right now. The body language, not where it needs to be. How are we out there with Lee? And it's stolen. Then it's Charles Williams. And it's Kirilenko in at the power forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. Easy shot. Now he's got four points in the quarter. He's got a ton to help his team, guys. And he may have to do more if they're going to come back and win. Rest outside. Five on the clock. Baltman passes to Howard. There's the triple. Another three for Dallas. Oh, they're getting scorched by all these open threes they're giving up. Yeah, it's really been the biggest pitfall for this club so far tonight. So many wide open looks for the opponent. Outside Lowry. He gathers. And there's the rejection. But they recover it. And Williams with the basket on the assist by Stoller. 
Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Now here's West. That's on you. Here's Marion. Yep, it's good. And the Mavericks lead by 21. And here are the Rockets now. Takes a right up. And the restore the bucket. And the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his seventh assist in the game. A shot by Marion, no good. And here are the Rockets now. Trailing by 19. Back to Lowry. There's the feed to Scola. He's guarded by Stevenson. Look from Scola, and he's going to kill him with the ball. Well, they're going to lot of their damage from mid-range here, guys. I mean, knocking down those shots with regularity. Oh, it's guys coming off that mid-range area jump shot, so... Shows you, you don't have to be at the rim to score. Timeout call, the Rockets. And obviously, coach doesn't want them giving up all these inside buckets. They need to do a better job of moving their feet, staying in their stance, and keeping their man in front of them. Both teams will make substitutions. Show your support, come on! Substitution on the court. Here is Brewer. Outside, Mark. The tray. That is good. Martin's got 11 in the second half. He's been dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we. No, he can get on the roll and knock him down. And across the board, his stats, just amazing. Well, he's monogrammed this game in a big way. Scola. Man, that's a pretty job. I mean, I love to see them working inside like that. Mavericks leading by 16. Now it's him. Jacks up a three. That's good. Just cruising to the finish line. Yeah, and barring something catastrophic happening, um, it looks like they'll go home with a nice victory here. Both teams deciding to change it up. Okay, man. Put your hands together. Go, Rockets Power Dancers. Here's Mark. He's covered by Kid. He's got seven points here in this sport. Well, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Carter against Kirilenko. From down low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he finishes at the right. 25 points for Vince Carter. This is not what they wanted to let happen. They're just getting pounded inside. Yeah, they are, Steven. I mean, they're just uh, not making life difficult at all for scores in the paint. I mean, that's an area that you've got to protect with force and aggressiveness. And we haven't seen it. Here's Levitsky. Guarded now by Patrick Patterson. It's Terry outside. And that one's good. And the Mavericks lead by 18. Another great job of moving the basketball and finding a good shot. Steve, that's been the thing for them so far. I mean, they've really worked well as a unit together. And the assist totals echo that. And think there's enough time left to get back into the game. Guys. This is really a case of, of too little too late, but at least it gives them something to work off of going into the next game. Let's it go with a three. And it can it's the Rockets from deep. You know, guys, he's always looking for that open three. I mean, that's his strength. And sometimes the best time to get the three is in transition. And here is Nowitzki. 
and stolen by Patterson. And you're asking a lot out of your teammate to try to handle that pass. I don't like that decision at all. Well, they've been a bunch of bandits today. Steals coming one after the other. Connor with the bucket. I think that may do it here. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. Well, just adding to the lead as we approach the final buzzer. There's the three. And Lowry gets it to go. What a fantastic performance from that range. Well, that's been his territory all game, Steve. Kicks it to Carter. Deflects the pass. Taken away by Kirilenko. Stolen by Carter. Takes the three. Another three for Dallas. Looks like it's over. Double-digit margin. Run down. Take care of the ball now. Yep, it's a simple equation. This one's over. Use the clock and take care of the orange. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Vince Carter.
Also, we we'll check out their cool clippers rumor to be shopping by McDice. Rockets fired by Kevin McHill and hired to Dante Cole. Oh no. They got fired by Kevin McHill. No way after that. After this annoying no PS. Let's check out the view box for Kyle Lowry got 27. Kevin Martin got 20. Dirk Nowitzki got 36. And Vince Carter got 31. Let's check out the other games there. We got Jazz, Dumb and the Clippers. Out Jefferson almost triple double with 20, 11, and 9. Paul Mills up 22. Red Fountains got 16 and 9. CP3 got 22, uh, 20, I believe CP3 got 20, Butler got 22, Glyphon have 12 and 12. M oh my god, Miami somehow lose to Memphis on oh, the first home loss of the season. Dwayne Wade got 48, LeBron James got 26, Chris Bosh got 21, Woody Gay got 29, OJ Mayo got 24. How did the, the Grizzlies stun the heat? On the home floor, oh my god, that was the upset. Cavaliers beat the Pistons. Kyron Irving got 40. Jason Richards got that 21 and 11. Prince got 26. And Rutley Stucky got 25. And an even Greg Marron almost have triple double. 8 points, 14 points, and 9 assists. Box beat the Celtics. 26 points for Stephen Jackson. 22 points for Glenn Davis. 21 points for Brandon Jennings. 17 points for Jabberco. Bogut got 14, Jerry Smith got 30, Pierce got 28, Delfino got 13. Wow, Naka somehow lose to Sacramento. 21 and 14 for Gananari, 20 and 9 for Ty Lawson, 18, 7 and 8 for Ty Asaya Thomas. JJ Hickson got 17 time with Ariza. And McGrady only has 10 points and 7. Thunder beat the Lakers, Kobe Bryant got 33, Andrew Bryant got 22, Dosso got 21. Durham got 35, Westbrook got 25, Skyforce beat the Mad Ants, Raptors beat the Semi Sixers, 44 points for Lou Williams, Andre Gavdalos got 23, Bargani, DeRozan, and Balotunas are 3 of double double, 27 and 10 for Bargani, 50 and 10 for DeRozan, and 40 and 10 for Balotunas, 20 points for Jose Calderon. Pacers beat the Timberwolves, 34 points. Points and 12 rebounds for Roy Hilbert got double double. 21 points for Danny Granger in overtime. Anthony Randolph got 22 tied with Kevin Love. 19 points for Michael Beasley. Wingate got 14 and almost triple double by Ricky Rubio. 13 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists. And the Hornets beat the Bobcats. 34 points for Eric Gordon. 25 and 10 for Chris Kamen. 19 points for Jude Soniana Games. 19 points tied with Paul Boss and Walker. Walker. <coughs> Let's check out on November 24th schedule on TNT. We got Spurs, Suns, and Nets, Wizards. And real life is not Thanksgiving. No games on Thanksgiving will be more, end in 2008 and will be remain in 2012 present. So let's see like right here. Our first one Spurs and Suns. Suns remains undefeated at home. 36 points for Steve Nash. Goran Dragic at 29. And 20 points for Aaron Brooks. For San Antonio, they have two double double figures for Tim Duncan 20 and 10. And Kawhi Leonard 12 and 10. 8 and 9 for DeJuan Blair. 27 and 9 for 24 Perry. And Milan Jalon with 34. Wow, his Phoenix Suns are now very scary. In the NBA, they are still undefeated at home. Let's check out did undefeated for Phoenix. They are now 7 and 0. Same with Dallas, are 6 and 0. 7 and 0 for Phoenix. There is no chance. There is no match. With San Antonio, Nets and Wizards and Nets win by 9, John Walker 26, Brooke Lopez 23, almost triple double but 19-30 and 9 for Darren Williams. Let's check, let's check out the other games on Sunday, Rockets, Nuggets, Bobcat Seed, Grizzlies, Jazz, Mavericks, Nug Ma Mavericks, Trailblazers, the rematch of the first round last year, Suns, Wires, Thunder, Timberwolves, Box 76ers, Raptors, Magic, Knicks, Celtics, Cavaliers, Hornets, Spurs, Kings, Lakers, Clippers, Hawks, Pacers, and Bulls, Pistons. So there's no ESPN Friday constant and conflict of Thanksgiving right there. And as you can see, the next game we have with Kyrie Irving, Cleveland Cavaliers, we're not able to skip. So what will be the next game we're up against? We skip against Minnesota. The next game against Golden State for the next two games. And the next game against Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. 
and then there will be check out the upcoming schedule right there the uploads so far so check out the standings and check out the power rankings as Dallas remains the first place despite losing to Washington Wizards Miami remains the second so as you can see Dallas and Miami remains the top two Phoenix and Cleveland move down and up to number three and four Indiana have moved up to number five Atlanta have moved up to number six and stay OKC move up to seven Toronto move up to eight Milwaukee fall down to number nine Memphis move up to ten Utah is down to 11. So what's happened to the Lakers? Still moved down to 13. San Antonio moved down to 12 as well. And the last place it was the Pistons. And check out the players of the week. Will be belong to Kevin Keba Walker and Vince Carter. League leaders LeBron James remains 37.3 in the scoring scoring leaders. Kyrie we got 35.1. Dirk Nowitzki 33.6 and as you can see Kevin Martin fall down to 32.4 Assist leaders is Dirk Nowitzki remains Let's check out Vince Carter He's tied with Dirk and Vince are tied with 7.2 And the assist leaders You see C Suns are 13 games played everywhere Let's start with caps and see our assist leaders so as you can see, they got 7.2 with Dirk and Vince. Rookie report with Wingate got 9.0. JD Chenman 8.0. Richards are 7.8. So, even Jerry only has no score since he re reserved the shooting guard. So, check out the point finder if Dirk Nowitzki, where did you go to find? If they try to trade with Chris Paul and Antonio McNice. So don't trade it right there. So they going to keep out there. Let's see if the most likely will might be fine to trade on December. If Sean Marin will be no longer. If most likely, likely he will play trade to Utah for Devin Harris to Dallas. To sign with Jason Terry. Oh no, Jason Terry. No, no, no. Don't do trade to Jason Terry because try and leave out for Utah. Next is... From Golden State. Let's check out the Monte Ellis trade. And it was also Jason Terry and Delonte West signed with the Belgians. So, then we'll check out Tyson Chandler for the New Year Knicks. So, Tyson Chandler. Try and get back for New York after he leave to he leave to Dallas in 2012, and then it's just you see Sean Marion and Delonte was still in the leave. So you know it's not trying to get out of here. We're gonna get back. We'll, we'll see you in December. Trying to get out of here to so go back to Dallas. As you can see, Devin Harris still not slightly the trade deadline. So trying to get back. With Jason Terry to a board trade. To see, check out if Devin Harris seen it might be trade with Mike Miller. I'm gonna trade to Mike Miller. Out of, out of Mike Miller's order. Oh, oh my God! Why? No offers were found. So it looks like there's no offers. Instead of done today, my guy, you only have four trades. So let's check out if the Deshaun Stevenson look to go for play. If you see, as you see, there's so many rookies right there. Likely, if we go to other teams, look like this. So, as this, we're gonna get back here. Delonte West will leave, will leave the most likely. Sean Marin will be the one be leaving the most likely. Trey Devin Harris or Tyson Chandler, I believe. And Jason Kidd will be the leave to down. Fall to LA, so as you see. What's going on here? Even likely trade to Tayshawn Prince or trade to Nate Robinson or Danny Green. Terry gonna leave the net, might be a potential leave to Devin Harris to Gordon Hayward. So don't get to be the Devin Harris to get trade out of here. Vince Carter will check out. You see Devin Harris there and you see Mike Miller. Don't get trade there, Mike Miller and Devin Harris. As you see, Mike Miller does not work. He don't have more upset as the receiver upset. 
going to get the agents. Well, if you need to check it out to do a fine Harris, let's check Harris. Harris, 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 Harris. Let's check out a couple straight in the Mike Miller, they have some money here so far. If Devin Harris is most likely in our trade, looks like it's not work. So as you see for this trade, Mavericks are more than allowed. So looks like illegal trade is not allowed. Or over 15, 8, and 87. The Scott players are nine remaining. So you see, Devin Harris is not great. Does not work. So, go ahead and trade to there. If you trade to Delonte West, who live to them Dallas. Very so annoying. If you're gonna get Jason Kidd, I'll get Devin Harris back to here. We're gonna trade there. So if you're gonna get Devin Harris sent sent to Utah, out of Jason Kidd, it will be live just like in real life. And if you like, aren't interested, as you see, David Harris is signed. Go to Dallas. I love Jason Kidd since Jason Kidd will all of here. However, Jason Kidd will be released to free agents. Take the reserve out of here and sending out to David Harris. As you see, Jason Kidd ready to prepare. Joints back. We're not little jointed. Rejoin Dallas. Rich team joins the scary power. So then we need to get Denver to go here. Jason Kidd, we're ready to trade out of here. So as you can see, Jason Kidd is no longer gonna get in the trade. He's gonna go before start. Coach, we need to get rotation. Devin Harris ready to go. And we need to get six men. Man, we need to get out of here six men just like back in the happened. We need to get Devin Harris to get six men. Aboard six men. We need to go to find something. We need to go starter and no trade allowed. So team, we need to go and ready for money out of here. So we need to get money to reach five million. We need to get out of here the money because the money it will work until today. So nextly, if the Sean Maron leaves to Monte Ellis to join Allen here. So next one, if Sean Maron will be out, will be lifted to Dallas after going and win the championship twice to play as well. And Devin Harris and Monte Ellis are ready to prepare. So as you can see, Devin Harris is now back. The original Dallas Mavericks in real life, Devin Harris would go to a, I believe it was the Atlanta Hawks. So, go to get shooting guard right now, and the jersey number will back to number 34. Then, Sean Maron will now no longer and unable to get back. So, we're going to go to the Sean Maron to Monte Ellis to go to Golden State. So as you can see, there are illegal out. It looks like illegal will not work. Let's see if Sean Maron or Trey. We're so gonna check the trade finder. Sean Maron. There's still nothing here. It looks like Buildrins is out.
So as you can see, so many cars that are right now. And we're gonna take a train and recreate before the end of the video right now. Devin Harris, we need to get in. And as you see, there's still many dunks right now. So, if you check out one more of our upcoming next game, it will be upcoming next week if Sean Maron lift the Dallas out of here to Monte Allen to join the deal for upcoming December or something early trades. Jason Kidd sending on a message. Don't trade to Chase and Terry and Sean Marion. It will stay live. Do not live to find out when we get out of here. So and we're going to check out the news there the dirt news he sends the message. And the practice. In the practice, Devin Harris sending the message to reunited back and the former teammates of the Dallas Mavericks to join Jason Terry, Jason Kidd, well, Jason Terry, Dirk Nowitzki, Vince Carter, and Josh Howard. Through the company are all of them us. So now I'm gonna be because there's two two of Alpha Jumpo before I start the game with Alpha Jumpo. We're gonna go to another rotation to get in Channing Fry to get back to Jumpo. Right now, is Devin Harris. Then we're gonna keep the all of here the bench warmers. We're gonna get out of here again and get the straight that nice. So now, as you can see, Kid said going to Denver, and you see struggle for Golden State if we get out of here. If don't get Jason Terry trade until till next season. And we're going up against Portland Trailblazers five and five. And we're going 10 and 2. So now it's time to save the game. But first, we need to get practice for now. Now we're going to go to practice. And go check out of the play. Live practice. And we're going to go intra squad scrimmage before getting saved. We save the file. We're going to check it. I'm going to ready to go. Devin Harris is to welcome back to Dallas as we get ready to learn the game. We're in back in the old memory and you see there's going to be trail joining us. Stay there! Stay there! Play back! Play back! Don't let him shoot that! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Devin Harris, three points shot up. away. You see what happened? Oh, 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 Joins Dallas after Jason Now we'll join hey, Devin Harris. Push. And Devin Harris will finally get a ring after the finals against the Miami Heat. Stay on it! You got it, you got it! Don't get trained right now. It might be minor. Watch him! Watch him! Come on! Come on! Shot! 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 If Devin Harris come back, as you see, Jazz trade Harris Maris for Kid, and then Dallas trade for Jason Kid to Rudy Fernandez. With the standings for the Utah, three, seven, and six, and Denver are five and six. So there will be Jason Kid, former team homecoming on Gen on Gen Warney seven. There will be meet for Jason Kid, returning to former teammates. 
So now time is safe from flowers now and it should be interesting will be the end of the video guys. And that will do it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. We'll see you in the next video. We're up against the Portland Trail Blazers. Sign up and peace out. And keep going for the Maddox videos that are coming up soon. Have a wonderful and good night everyone.